screen will disappear. There we go. You see how small our ship is? But you got to be careful with the colors. Otherwise, you won't be able to see your own ship. And you can remove the astrometrics right here. Disable astrometrics. Boom. Just like that. Now it looks like you're in flying in outer space. James P. Ahab of the USS Helena. That is a player. That's another player. He's got a tiny ship, too. Let's go look at him. Let's see what kind of ship he has. Now, when we travel in sector space, we're traveling at warp speeds. Oh, look at that. He has a Federation... Um, escort ship and he has a really good one that's like the Defiant USS Defiant see USS Helena right on the side so let's click on him let's look at the info I see he's human He's a Starfleet Tactical Officer, and he is Admiral, level 57, rank and grade. And he's got all kinds of good stuff. And that's the name of the fleet he's in. Team Trek Yards. All right. Nice. Let me see. See when it can be a little difficult to maneuver in this area of space because you end up traveling so fast. So this is not scale. Remember, everything is representative in terms of scale. It's all a matter of representation, right? People forget that about about computer games. Yeah. I don't have a science kit yet. Oh, so let's go back here. We're at the Chapori system. We're almost at the Helix system. Go ahead and plot that course again. There's Chapori too. Dun da 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 dun dun da 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 Sorry. All right. Ah, I gotta get comfortable again. I end up sliding down into a position where there is no support for my back, which is not good. I had a nice spot in the other room, but it was just too loud. That's the stuff. This is Suliban Helix system. All right. So. The Suliban were manipulated into being hostile towards humans. 
in uh, Star Trek Enterprise. Here we go. The Helix. We've arrived at the Helix, but we're not the only ship here. A tall Shi'ar warbird is approaching from the direction of the primary structure. They haven't raised shields yet, but their weapons are online. Wait, they're hailing us. Your orders? Put the ship on screen. Ship on main viewer. It's a Tavaro light warbird. Designation IRW Shardar. They could be tall Shi'ar. All right, IRW is Imperial Romulan Warbird. We're in a Republic Romulan Warbird. Okay. And Shardar, Shardar, I don't know what that means. Probably Romulan for something. Now, they're in an upgraded version of our ship. So, their ship is actually better than ours. So we have to be crafty about this. Can't just, you know, answer their hail. I do not fear death. Good. To the person in command of the RRW Bearcat, be advised that you are in violation of Tau TR Security Order 63R. Your vessel is operating in this area without authorization. Identify yourself immediately, or your actions will be considered hostile. You don't want that kind of trouble. <laughs> what authority could you possibly have out here? The Tau Shiar has the authority to track down terrorists that threaten the Romulan Star Empire, no matter where they try to hide. And don't bother with deception. Our records indicate a warbird with your ship's designation was decommissioned years ago. We've already identified you as Kuma Rema Uso. Stealing military property is a serious crime. Here to explain, Commander. <laughs> Post channel raised shields. <laughs> No problem. You're cloaked. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come up behind them. I can. Suliban Helix. This is Uma Oso of the RRW Bearcat. To the RRW Bearcat, we plead for mercy. There are only civilians on the Helix. We don't have much more than we can scavenge from the cell ship. As we told the other Tal Shiar, there are no terrorists here. The Cabal are long gone. Take whatever scrap you need, but please stop taking our people. But we're not here to rob you. Then why are you here? We don't have much trade and we don't want any trouble. We're looking for Romulan refugees. There are a few Romulan refugees hiding within the Helix. They said they needed temporary shelter it would be leaving soon. We meant no harm. How are we to know that they are wanted terrorists? Please, just take them and go. We're not with the Tal Shiar. Well, 
Their actions speak for your true goals. If you help us by repairing the helix arm structures, then we'll help you and get the refugees to your ship. But hurry, we're in jeopardy every moment you remain here. So, we are to reposition the helix arm structure. On our way. Now, the helix, look, made of all these little cell ships, right? Apparently, they've had problems with separation. And it seems they're suffering now from separation anxiety. There we go. We'll use a light tractor beam. More, more shards. Shut up. Where? There they are. There he is. I really should turn off those those helps. They're, for me, they're more annoyance than they are help at the moment. All right. I'm locked on. See, my ship is starting to make minor course cor corrections. See if you get too close to an explosion like that, it can damage your hull. It does kinetic damage. So there we go. One more helix arm to fix, and we'll be good to go. Warning. Ship and target tabbies will build your singularity level. Now, one of my space feats or abilities was uh, stealth, right? So I gain an extra 100 points to my ability to cloak. There we go. 